Vad hack den alla Tunnfest, tunnfest hela dagen Heter mjöl från livets grott och kvarn Tunnfest, tunnfest hela dagen Hello Alright, before anything started I know I have been missing for a while And there's a big explanation for it I'm gonna give it to you Soon But first, there's something that we need to do Dude, 10 minutes from my house to the mall, not bad at all. Yeah, today we're going to the mall. Uh, Today is September 13th, so that means tomorrow is September 14th, which means that it's Leslie and I six. I mean, I'm holding my hand. Up, six anniversary. It's our sixth anniversary. Yeah, I know. Like, it's been it's been a long time together with her, and I cannot say that the time has been amazing. So today. Uh, I'm gonna get her something for our anniversary. I haven't said anniversary too many times, but the point is I'm gonna get her something for our anniversary and I kind of have a, like, an idea of what I want. I just need a little bit more guidance. By the way, the mall is not my favorite place, but anything for less. <laughs> So yeah, International Plaza is kind of like the big mall here in Tampa. I don't like to come because usually it's like super crowded, but if you come at 12, there's not that many people on. Probably Louis Vuitton? Nah. Some new jeans? Nah. How about an electric car? No. Sunglasses? You have plenty of them. How about a Starbucks gift card? It's too cheap. I'm not going in that store. Alright, what about a new Apple product? The new iPhone is coming out. No. Okay, I found it. I found what I'm gonna get Leslie. This is what Leslie needs. Tickets for the box game. Eventually. All right, so many, many stores later, I got their gift. You're not gonna see what it is. If Leslie wanna show it to you, that's fine, but I'm not gonna show it here. All right, so now we are out of here. Dude, afternoon, best time to come here. No people at all. I did all my shopping. All right, this is not a complaint, it's mostly an observation. Dude, the weather in Tampa has been whew, hot, hot, hot. Which, I don't complain, I prefer this than those freaking rainy days. Don't you hate those days? All right, let's go. All right, so, GIF has been acquired, reservations are done since like a month ago. Uh, so we are all ready for a great anniversary. Sweet. I know I said that I was gonna explain what I have been missing. Um, I just don't wanna do it here in this card. So we're going back to the house and I'm gonna take you to my favorite spot. You know where it is. Uh, so we're going back to the house and I promise I will explain what's going on. Trying to find a quiet place today is not gonna be an easy task. Over there is the boat. Here they got like some bands. And here we got some construction. Let's see what we can do. Alright, I think I think there we'll do it. Alright. Okay, so 
I said I was gonna tell you why I haven't updated the blog and there is three reasons for it uh, number one um, I was coming home uh, from work like three weeks ago and I got a call from my manager right after I was out of work with my uh, with my recruiting company on the line and they let me know that um, they didn't have any more demand for my department so they were letting us go uh, me and six other and three other people so yeah basically um, I lost my job so yeah basically I lost my job after three years working there it was just a pat in the back and all right see you later uh, which I don't know what I was expecting I mean that's all that I was gonna get for uh, which kind of sucks dude like but whatever yeah so basically I've been I've been out of, out of a job for the last three weeks I mean I've been doing some side gigs to get some kind of like some side money but like not having a full-time job is it's, it's hard it's hard yeah uh, Leslie's been great through all of this I gotta say like she's always like calm down we're gonna get through this we're together in this it's not the first time something like this is gonna happen it's not gonna be the last time so just hang tight <laughs> uh, secondly that same way that I got fired or uh, not got fired I got laid off uh, that's it that same way that I got laid off dude everything happened on that week oh my god what's up with all this wind wait my computer broke like my little Mac Pro um, yeah that thing broke like the the memory RAM died so I have to order a new one but there was like a storm coming so everything was delayed it was a mess uh, I fell off of the one wheel that week too like I have bruises here on my knee on my leg but the worst part of all is like um, a few weeks ago before all of this we said that we were gonna take Luna for like checkups and like there was some stuff that we were trying to get off her skin it's kind of like a small mole that she had so we were trying to get it out well they uh, they decided to run a blood test just before surgery just to make sure that she was fine and it comes out that her thyroid levels were high I didn't even know that dogs had thyroids but I guess yeah so um, yeah they they refer us to a different uh, bed and they run some tests on it and they determined that Luna had a lump on her neck and that that was a, a tumor and it was making the thyroid work more and I want to say like three years I always feel a lump on, uh, on Luna's neck and I never thought it was something bad because she was always acting fine she's still acting fine what that means in dogs is that they have thyroid cancer dude when they told us that like the whole world was coming like down like bah, 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 bah. Like, dude, Luna was sick, and we were like, I was, I was so scared. Leslie was so scared. Luna's been a little bit sick. Today she went to the bed, and she had an echo. So today she's kind of like a little bit numb. So. I mean, we took her to this other bed to run some tests. They do an echo. We're still waiting on the exams of that echo. But they told us like, if it had spread to their to their chest, to their lungs, it was basically cancer, like a really bad cancer. Um, so uh, we took it yesterday to do the chest the chest X-rays, and I mean, that shows you like, dude, life is a roller coaster. The best part, oh my god, the best part of all of this is they told us that Luna doesn't have any metastasis or any like that to their lungs dude to me that was amazing leslie gave me the news this morning and dude it was like the best time to receive a good news to me it was like dude i was like so scared of like something was gonna happen to luna and ah man you know whenever you need a win like everything is going backwards and like you need a win and it comes in the right time dude that's exactly how i feel this morning when leslie sent me that email <sighs> after all this dude like you start seeing things in perspective and like really life is just a roller coaster dude and you just have to hang up to that seat 
sometimes you're up sometimes you're down it's like you're going up it feels like so slow to get there and when you go down you go down fast so anyway i promise i'm gonna be updating this vlog more i just haven't been able to do it like like you see there's a bunch of stuff going on there shouldn't be an excuse this actually should be an excuse to put pick up the camera and document it all this but i promise you i will yeah just wait for it and bye she's gonna be fine there is a lot of luna to come bye